Hi guys, welcome back. I hope you're doing well. Gosh, this hummingbird keeps flying right near the window. It is so cute. It's so tiny. I feel like they're usually a little bit bigger. I know hummingbirds have good meaning. I don't remember exactly, but it has to be good, right? Uh, hummingbird symbolizes intelligence, beauty, devotion, and love. Those are all pillars of this channel and the content I create. So that's cool. They're a symbol of good luck and they are fierce fighters and defenders of their territory. So we'll take any good omen these days. We are not picky. If it even is remotely a good symbol from the universe, we're accepting it, we're taking it, and we are gonna take that with us. Anyways, hope you guys have had a nice month of May. I'm really feeling good, really feeling like myself after a few rocky weeks. I had my last lap appointment today and I'm finally done with getting my labs done. My hormones are at zero. We are in the clear, so I'm feeling really good. Some of these things I've already talked about in some videos, but I just wanna talk about them like not while I'm doing my makeup. So let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna start with makeup. My absolute number one product in my repertoire right now is Peau de Peche from Westman Atelier. I'm wearing it right now. This is what it looks like. It's like a shimmery kind of light bronze. I have it on with the blush I'm gonna share with you. I cannot get over how nice this product looks on the skin. It's so pretty, it's dewy, but it's still really soft. Westman Atelier is expensive. It's a luxury brand that is absolutely worth the hype. Now, if it's not in your price point, it's not in your price point and that's totally fine. There are other really nice products that can add a dewiness to your complexion and your makeup. If you want like kind of shimmery, like liquid eyeshadow, Kosas 10 Second Eye, you guys know I love those. If you want something to add to your like complexion products, the Say Super Glow Gel, it's a slightly better price point, slightly different product, but that's gonna kind of give like a, a glow to your makeup. This is a shimmery kind of bronzy highlight product. It's creamy, it's easy to use. If it's in your budget to use Westman or you're looking for something like this, you, you can't go wrong. They have a few different shades. They ethically source the mica, which gives it that kind of shimmer. There's organic jojoba oil in it. There's sunflower seed wax in it, which kind of adds that to that like emollient nature to the product. And then there's caper extract, which is really calming to the skin. It's just a beautiful product. A lot of Westman Atelier's products are really feel like skincare and makeup in one. I wouldn't consider them skincare, but they're a skincare focused makeup brand. Okay, you guys know there are two lip products that I love and I talk about all the time. Alpen Beauty Sweet Willow and Agave Lip Mask and Mara Sea Silk Lip Balm. They're both really nourishing kind of skincare lip products. Um, they're really hydrating. The Alpen Beauty comes in a pot. The, the Mara comes in a squeeze tube. Um, I love them both. This lip product is different than those that it's more like a lip gloss, but it's like a lip balm gloss kind of. It is also from Westman Atelier. It is called the Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balm. I'm wearing it right now and I'm gonna just demo some of it on my hand for you. It is so high shine. The pigment's subtle, but there is some there too. I think I shared with you Garcon is another one I have that's like a, like a berry kind of color, um, but still very subtle. Like the, the pigment is sheer. The shade is Choo Choo. They call it a gloss meets balm treatment and that's how it feels. It doesn't just feel like a standard lip gloss. It almost feels more like a lip balm, but looks like a lip gloss with that high shine and that little bit of pigment to it. The Tower 28 Sunny Days Tinted SPF truly is my favorite. I'm wearing it right now. It's a really beautiful finish to the skin. It's really lightweight. It has like a light to medium coverage to it. It blends out really beautifully. There's a little bit of a dewiness to it. I also have powder on, but it just sits so nicely on the skin. I do like the Say Slip Tint, but I feel like people love it or hate it. I haven't heard a lot of negative feedback on this. The, the Say one is kind of like hit or miss. You either love it or you hate it. I like it. But yesterday I wore the Say one just to kind of play with something different. And I was like, wow, I like the way this feels on my skin so much more. And I love Say, but this is really, really nice. This one feels a little bit more like a second skin and I feel the Say a little bit more on my skin. I always share that if I'm gonna be outside for longer than a couple of errands, or if I'm gonna be outside and it's really sunny or for a long period of time, I will always put on SPF underneath this or any tinted product because the amount I use isn't enough to give me proper SPF coverage. I'm actually wearing all of these products that I'm talking about and that wasn't even on purpose because I wasn't even planning on filming today. Ilia Ladybird, slightly different kind of terracotta peachy blush. I only have a little bit on layered on, uh, layered on top of the Peau de Peche, but it's a really, really pretty color, really pretty for summer. If you like a more peachy tone, if you don't want something too pinky, too berry, too mauve this is beautiful without being too orange. And actually with the, with these um, lip to cheeks from Ilya, it can be on the lips too. 
it's subtle. It's really pretty, really soft. These Ilia Lifted Cheeks are just a beautiful product. Okay, the last product is the Ilia Fade Into You Soft Focus Finishing Powder. This is just a really great classic talc-free um, translucent powder for setting. I haven't used a product like this in so, so long. And the only downside to this is that it can get a little bit messy because it's a loose powder. I love something like this for my brides, especially if I don't want to feel like I'm packing on too much makeup on them. I like to use this Real Techniques 400 brush, which is actually part of my May favorites because I just bought it. This is just a really, really nice, easy, lightweight, setting powder. This morning I put on the Sunny Days Tinted SPF and this product, Peau de Peche and Lady Bird, maybe seven hours ago. Yeah, like seven hours ago. The only thing I did before this video was touch up a little bit of the Peau de Peche um, and put a little bit more of the lip gloss on, but like my complexion as itself has really held up beautifully. It's the brush that I was just sharing about that I really like. It's the Real Techniques 400. It's a really nice fluffy brush. It's not super dense. I have a brush video, I'll link it in my cards, what to look for for different products for blush. The looser the brush, the fluffier the brush, the fluffier the application, so the less concentrated the application. So for a loose powder, for bronzer, this type of brush is perfect. If I'm looking to really blend out contour, if I'm looking to really blend out blush in a more concentrated area, then I'm gonna want a brush that's just a little bit more concentrated that kind of like lives more like in this range. But for this, I wanna be able to fluff it around my face and not feel like I have to work too hard with it. Okay, I have one hair product and it is the Ceremonia Oil Mist with Aloe Vera. This is a really nice lightweight oil spray. I wear it on my hair all the time. I have it, hair, I have it on, in my hair right now. It is, it smells incredible and it's lightweight. If you feel like oil weighs you down, something like this might be nice because it has to be lightweight enough to work in a sprayer. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Whenever I wear this stuff, it's like your hair, it smells so good. I'm like, it's the freaking oil. I refresh my hair with this day two, three, four, whatever. I'm on day four today. The typical application for this for me is I just kind of spray it like in my hair and then I kind of work it through. I usually do maybe four sprays for my whole head total. I sprayed it wearing like a lighter color sweatshirt and I had like oil splatters all over it and they didn't come out in the wash. So, cause it's an oil. So I just didn't think about how it would like get all over. So if you're gonna use this in the spray form, just make sure you haven't put your like regular clothes on, like make sure you're wearing like whatever pajamas or a robe or a towel. If you're wearing your clothes clothes, just spray it in your hand like I did before and then just work it in. The Doré and the Waleda Skin Food. Both of these products are great price points. The Waleda is really easy to find because Target, Whole Foods, and other like more like widely available retailers carry it, which is nice. And then the Doré one I got at Credo Beauty. One of my really good friends recommended it to me and it's great. I think the Doré one is slightly heavier, slightly, but they are both good for daytime. Time. That's the Doré. You can see the Waleda is a little bit thinner. Of the two, the Waleda one is a touch lighter weight. It almost has the texture of like a, kind of like a cold cream. You know what I mean? It's, it's not super, super thick. It feels really nice on the skin. This is more like a cream cream. Like it's just like a thickness to it. I would say in terms of quality, like ingredients and everything, like I think the Doré is like maybe like a teeny bit nicer. Really great neutral face cream. If you don't like anything too heavy, and you want something that that's a really comfortable price point, both of these are really nice. The one thing that I, I thought was kind of interesting is like there's a lot of packaging for the Doré one. It looks like it would there would be more in this. And like the packaging's a little deceiving. Right now I find I'm using this more during the day and this one more at night just because the slight weight difference in them. This is seriously so freaking delicious if you're not allergic to peanuts and you're willing to like buy like a more like luxury kind of nut butter. Chuck a protein banana smoothie with this as my nut butter and it is so freaking good. Oh my gosh, that's seriously so good. So this is just kind of like a random little splurge thing we like to get, like I said, for toasts, for like if we want our smoothie to be like a little extra sweet and delicious. If you're in the market to like buy a slightly expensive um, gourmet peanut butter, this is the one to buy, the Crack Butter by Spoon Junkie. If you feel like, wow, that's like a bit excessive, like you're right, it is a little bit excessive. Come sit, we're almost done. Okay, the last thing is the, I don't even have it here because it's in the washer, the Anine Bing Los Angeles Sports Sweatshirt. It's kind of pricey for a sweatshirt, but I have to say it holds its shape really, really nicely. And I have like two other Anine Bing, a pair of pants and a skirt from the last few years. And the quality is there, but like it's an expensive sweatshirt. Like honestly, I'll just put a photo of it here. It's really comfortable. It's really lightweight and it holds its shape really nicely. 
I knew I would like it. I just didn't know I would like it as much as I do. It's a really nice, comfy, well, good shape, cute, like neutral logo sweatshirt. He needs to go for a walk and Dubs is in a meeting, so I need to take him before he starts causing a scene and scratching at the door, which he will. That's it for the May favorites. I hope you found this interesting. As always, I have more, I have posts on TikTok and on Instagram. And if you have any questions, um, leave a comment below. Everything will be linked below. Also, if you have any book recommendations, like with summer coming up and with IVF coming up, I just like really want to make sure that I'm not spending too much time on my phone disassociating and kind of like trying to distract myself if I'm feeling anxious or if I'm feeling a lot of emotions. When I'm in a good reading routine, it really just benefits me so much, but I've fallen off and so I need to get back on. So I need some good books. If you have any recommendations, I'm open. I know my sister's gonna comment Cersei. That is one that is on my list that I actually recommended to her that I haven't even read yet. And she was like, you need to read it. So Cersei is what I'm gonna read next. But if you have any other books, I'm, I'm really open to any genre or whatever. I'm just, I need to kind of immerse myself in reading this summer so that I'm taking care of my mental health and I'm not just scrolling on my phone too much. Thank you for being here. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.